Welcome to another episode of Michigan Streets and Eats. Today we have a special edition. We are reviewing <laughs> Michigan beers. Well, what do we got here? Lager of Love from Saga Tub Brewing. Uh, I guess this 10% uh, of uh, distribution sales of this beer goes to support local LGBTQ support organizations. It's nice. It's nice. Lager should be light. It's not bad, it's kind of metallic tasting. I don't know. I mean, it supports a good organization. I'll, 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 I'll go buy this beer because it supports, that's all I gotta say about it. Buy this beer. Hooray! Go out, buy this beer. All right, what do we got here? Melt My Brain from Shorts. Oh, I don't have a bottle opener. You know a bottle opener? Oh. I can work with this. Sure. Efficient bottle of beer. There we go. All right. All right. Um, golden ale brewed with coriander, juniper, berries, and lime, with tonic water added. Hashtag melt my brain. Let's see. Ooh, it's tasty. That's a. Uh, I'm tasting a lot of those spices in there. I'm really, the lime is really coming out there. I like this. I like this. 4% shorts brew. Um, good job on this. Good job on this. I'll, uh, I guess, we'll, I guess we'll, I'll, I'll put this right here. I'll put, I'll put it ahead of this. I already, I already know it's, it, it's pretty good. Yeah. I like this one. Alright, what do we got next? Alright, Bright White from Bell's uh, Belgian Inspired Wheat Ale. Let's see. Got my trusty bottle opener here. It's good, but uh, I don't know. I think I, I think I need a second opinion on this one. Lenny, can I get some help? I guess I'll help your scary ass. <laughs> All right, so uh, we have a, a bright, it's called Bright White. It's from Bells. Uh, from Comstock, Michigan. What's up, Bells? Uh, it's a Belgian inspired inspired wheat ale. Okay. Let me know what you think. It's an expert. Ooh, it's kind of got like a smooth cinnamon like aftertaste. I like it. It's like a uh, God. I can't think of it. It's the uh, one. I mean, it's 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 not like other Belgian ales that are similar. It's very smooth. And it's got a great aftertaste. It's definitely better than the Blue Moon. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Uh, as far as like Blue Moon goes, it's I'd actually say it's actually a step above a Blue Moon. Yeah. Uh, to, to me, if someone ruined it for someone told me that Blue Moon tastes like soap, then every oh! time I can't get that out of my head. Every time I have a Blue Moon, definitely. So. Sorry, sorry, Blue Moon. But sorry, we apologize. I mean, I mean, support local, but it's, it's pretty good. Much better than than Blue Moon. I think I'll, I'll put it I'll put it right in between. I'll, I don't think it's as good as the Melt My Brain, but I think it's it's better than the uh, Saga Tuck. Thanks, thanks, man. Fair enough. Thanks. Fair enough. Bye, guys. <laughs> all right, we got a. Uh, oh, all right, all right. Two Hearted Ale, very classic. This was the most popular beer in Michigan at one time. It probably still is. It's a, American IPA, another one from Bell's. Um, yeah, that's all it's got to say about that. Brewed with 100% Centennial Hops. Don't know what a Centennial Hop is. Should probably put that disclaimer here right now. Not a beer expert, not a beer snob. I do love drinking in general, and I do love beer. Um, I, I haven't had too hard in a while, so we'll take it. It's a quick walk down memory lane right now. I mean, it's it's good. I mean, it's delicious. It's uh, really hoppy. You got like a really like dark nutty flavor. Um, yeah, and I, I think uh, now that I've had it, you know, for you know, the first time in a long time, I, I think it's gonna go right next to the the Belgian White. It's delicious, good classic beer. I like it. For this next beer, I brought in some help. It's my boy Sean. What up? All right, uh, let's see what we got. Here. Like your, like your last ex-girlfriend. Oh! <laughs> no. uh, North Peak Brewing Company, and uh, it's 
called Havoc. Well, that, yeah, Havoc, which is it's a it's a fresh coast IPA. I don't know if I've ever heard of that term before. Yeah. But it's assertive, hop heavy, and aromatic. Let's see, let's see what we got. You want you want actually you want to you want to do the honors and take the first uh, first sip. Yeah. Get gotta get all the the aromatic. It smells stuff. like beer. It tastes like a fermented grapefruit. Fermented. I don't know if I. I, I we'll see. Mm, okay. You know I can see it. Yeah. I can see it. I tasted it's, it. It's uh. It is really hoppy. It's it, it's even more hoppy than. The, then that two, then, well, that wasn't hoppy at all. This is a lager, but it's hoppy. <laughs> it's hoppier than the two hearted. Very hoppy. Well, I mean, it does say in the can, hop heavy. Uh, uh, what, what, what would you, where would you put this? I, I know where I'm gonna put it, but where would you put it? To me, <laughs> I like grapefruit. <laughs> I put it here. You put it all the way up there? Well, let me let me try this one. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good idea. Oh hell no. <laughs> it's that delicious, one. right? But hell yeah. Okay, yeah, that's the way I would roll. Just gotta. You like it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm into it. Let's, uh, yeah. Thank right. you. Thank you for the help. A very, uh, a very enthusiastic endorsement of the uh, North Peak Havoc Fresh Coast IPA. Good job, North Peak. Good job. What we got next? All right, so another one from the Great Bells Brewery. This is called Official. I don't know if it's like fancy and pronounced official or something. Um, it's a hazy India Pale Ale. Well, let's see what a hazy IPA tastes like. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know, I would say it's um, got a, it's got a lot of flavor on the front end of it. Um, I don't know if it tastes like anything, but it tastes like I could have drink a few of these and still be. And, and still be happy. I won't, I won't get tired of this. It's pretty neutral. I would say pretty neutral beer. I, I could chug this. I could. Uh, I could do a keg stand with this beer. Um, I think I could. I, I might. I wouldn't disrespect it and do this, but I could even shotgun this. But yeah, good job, Bells. Hmm. Well, where do I put it though? Yes. Yeah, it's pretty good. You know, I, I like this. Uh, I'm into this. Um, Good job. I, I like a lot of beers from. Uh, <laughs> you uh, did you just get here? Damn, yeah, I just got here. Uh, all right. Um, what's up, guys? This uh, this is Cliff. How you doing? Uh, we're we're nice reviewing guys. beers. You wanna help me review the next beer? I'm not sure I'm always down for the light Let's get the next beer. All right. So next we have Saga Tuck again. Uh, bonfire brown, and uh, it's a classic brown ale with a hint of smoke. Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll let you take the first sip on that one. Man, it tastes like alligator eggs. It's good. <laughs> I can't say that I've ever had an alligator egg, but uh, let's let's. I'm about to taste an alligator egg, I suppose. Is that what alligator eggs taste like? Yeah. All right, well, sign me up some alligator eggs. This is a good ass beer. Um, I mean, it tastes like a, a, a brown, you know, a brown ale. Um, if I had to compare it to another brown ale, it kind of tastes like um, Bell's best brown ale. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think it's good. Where, where, where would you put it? Okay. Yeah, I can order in the fish. All right, so we'll move these down. Put it right here. I, yeah, I, I kind of agree with that. It's not as good as as Two Hearted, but. You know, I, I think I like it more than the refined college uh, college age person. Okay. All right, thanks, Cliff. Man. Oh yeah. Yay! What's up, man? What's going on, man? You got my next beer? Yes, sir. What do you got? Uh, Founders. First one from Founders. Um, got a Rubeus. It's got some. Uh, got, got a U with the two dots over. I think it's pronounced U. Uh, pure raspberry ale. All right. All right. Um, let uh, you do the honors. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Got a good flavor to it. A softer, more relaxed, chill type beer. It's tasty. It's sugary. This is a definitely a beer and a half for dessert. Um, the raspberries <laughs> are super strong. It doesn't, doesn't really feel like you're drinking beer. It kind of feels like you're drinking juice. Um, 
That's how you know it's dangerous, though. What, what's, what's the percentage of this? 5.7. It's not peanuts. Uh, it's a it's a pretty good beer. Um, I I would I would uh, not drink more than one. I would say that it's, it's too sugary. You know, right? It, uh, how, how many how many of those could you drink? Well, me, see, I need it either in a forty ounce mac on, on a good hot summer day when you don't want something too heavy. Get something light and fruity like this. So, but yeah, I can see that. Uh, I'll put it, I'll put it right yeah. there. Yeah. Thank you, founders. Thank you for the nice, fruity, refreshing beer. And thank you for uh, you. doing this beer with me. Hey, next time we have another show, invite me, please. <laughs> what do we have here? All right. Dragon's Milk, white, bourbon barrel age, white stout. It's coming from New Holland Brewery, proudly brewed in Holland, Michigan. I like how they put that up there. Um, 6.0 6 volume. Uh, alcohol by volume. Yeah, let's, let's see. Okay. Bro, bro, wait, wait, wait. I'm wait. I'm reviewing. I, just, I, I know, but I just thought of something. So everything here is all Michigan based, right? Yeah. I was just thinking. I found a Guinness in the fridge and it's, <laughs> it's extra stout. Alright. That's a stout. Yes. You, you want to compare we, the two? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, let's, let's yeah. actually compare it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm down with that. Let's see which one you like better. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's a it's a classic Irish beer, you know, and it's good. It's good. I I enjoy good Guinness, but um, I gotta say this uh, this Dragon's Milk, delicious. So it's a it's, it's different than your regular style. I want, I want you tell me the first flavor that so, comes to your mind when you drink it. Okay. It's really refreshing, kind of like a uh, when you get warm coffee. I won't say hot. It's it's warm. But it's got that smooth, like Java coffee bean yeah. taste to it. But where where would you put it in our sequence, so in our in our list of Michigan beers? I would have to say though, it being six percent and how good it is. Um, I think I would actually put this. Right. All right, all right. So so there you have it. The uh, official Michigan Streets and Eats ranking of Michigan beers that we have on the table. Thanks, man. No problem. And I just really, it's really nice to have Dwayne The Rock Johnson join us on the show. You know, celebrity, you know. It's the point. Right. Thanks, man. All right, brother. So we've had a lot of beers today. Um, and what have we learned? We learned that Michigan beers are good. Um, I've enjoyed every beer that I've had on this table. Um, but clearly, the uh, shorts brew, not my brain, clear winner. So delicious. Heavy endorsement on this, but in general, it's uh, if, if you're in Michigan, support your local breweries. Even if you're outside of Michigan, you know these are great beers. Michigan is the microbrewery capital of the nation. I said it. What's up, Seattle? What's up, Portland? Oh! Michigan's got it. I'm feeling a little buzz, so I think what I'm gonna do is gonna continue drinking these beers. See y'all later.